the thing with composition that I find is, um, you know, a lot of times I end up going to the movies. And now, because I'm such a visual person, I realize that um, with the... No, I forget what I said. Yesterday, I did a PowerPoint presentation talking about um, how that composition works in film. And actually, one of the examples that I used was the King's Speech, because that was such an incredible movie, one. But I didn't realize when you stop that movie how uh, the background says so much. And if you just watch the... Um, if you just watch the beginning of it or the snippets that they have, you could almost go by a visual on how you feel, how it makes you feel inside. And when I was in high school, I took a film called Lit and Film. I mean, took a class called Lit and Film. And that had um, instilled this idea of composition and how everything in the composition then tells the story. Um, and visually, that has helped me a lot because a lot of times, watch either watching movies or in painting, I realize how much we rely on the visual um, and what goes on in the background and how to move the viewer's eye around to make the story happen. I like taking photos only because sometimes I see textures and stuff that I can't recreate in, I mean, I just find it interesting. Um, just the elements of design um, I teach, you know, in um, a community college. So a lot of times I'm talking about the elements as far as being texture, um, line, design, shape, values. So all of those things always come through. And when I see a great photo, there's something about texture that I really love. And I think that shows with my um, palette knife paintings. Because I love that tactile feeling of someone touching it. And a lot of times when I realize that I'm looking at a piece of art and just want to touch it, or you can feel something, like I can feel the heat from the sun or whatever. But with the, um, the palette knife I use for the sense of having that tactile feeling and also being quick. I just find it easier to mix and then just apply it much quicker than a brush and mixing. So I do like, um, I don't know, there's, there's something about film and movies and stuff like that that I do enjoy watching and don't even notice. And then kind of like being outside. I mean, everything, once you start putting it down, you start seeing different things into it. Um, being outside and just really enjoying the elements of and how to capture that and bring it into what people see. You know, it's interesting. I don't know how many YouTubes I've seen, not that many, of people painting and realizing when you're watching them paint and how their painting looks awesome at the beginning and how it looks terrible. Like, oh, it's like, no, I totally would not have done that. And I realize now that I'm being filmed that I'm just making poor decisions on this painting. It's like, oh, you know what? I'm like messing up big time. But I can always. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, you hope that you would go like this and then everything comes like one of those miraculous days. Yeah. But instead it's like, why the hell did I put that color there? It's almost like getting yourself out of a hole. That's what I love about um, just working out of my head. Is like at one point you're like, oh my God, I'm so deep into this. What am I doing? And then somehow you get out of it. I'm also asking you questions about your childhood and making you... <laughs> so tell me about high school. <laughs> yeah, tell me about high school. Well, I hated it. <laughs> Actually, other than art, I did. Though I do, I did like that movie. And it was, uh, I mean, that class. And I realized how many times, it was funny, the guy was really kind of funny, like the Siskel and Ebert type of, and uh, you know, introvert. And um, <laughs> I think of that class often and go, wow, how much I learned in that class. And I bet the guy has no clue on who I am. Or um, It's amazing how one class stands out, and that wouldn't have been one of them. Like I said, I took it so that... 
I could watch movies in high school. <laughs> it was, I didn't really want to learn. I one time saw him at a um, Bob Dylan concert. Um, he also taught a class, Dylan and Thoreau. I don't know how we got the, um, I think they just realized that the kids weren't going to go to class unless it was music or movies. And it was, we would watch movies, and that's why I wanted to take it, because I just got to watch movies in high school. Um, but I didn't realize how much um, knowledge I would get about compositions, because the guy would stop the movie and we would talk about the background and how much it related to the movie. And I got so much information from that. Now, every time I watch movies, I'm so grateful uh, because I look at them in such a different way and maybe because I'm a visual person, but I always think back to that. I mean, I saw some great films. The Birds was one of them. But... Gene Siskel, film critic of the Chicago Tribune. And across the aisle from me, fellow survivor, Roger Ebert, film critic of the Chicago Sun-Times. And the subject today is going to be...